Don't make these common undergraduate personal statement mistakes. Now, each year I read over a thousand personal statements and many are a joy to read, but I also have to endure hundreds of these grown wordy mistakes, which make the admissions officer far more likely to reject you. Number one, the cliche opening line. Now you'll be surprised how often I read something like this. As I stare through the forest, Vistas of sunlight beaming through the trees, I contemplate what it is to be a man in 2024. And that's why I'm applying to finance degrees. It makes no sense and it is so irrelevant. Try something like this to keep you focused instead. I'm applying to top finance degrees to help me with my ambition to start my career at a top flight investment bank. I'm particularly interested in JP Morgan's two-year graduate program with rotations in capital markets, debt, and FX. I'd like to specialize in one of these and hopefully lead that desk within five years. That is a focused, well-researched university statement opening that connects what you want to do with your degree, degree with what you're applying to. If in doubt, keep it simple in your first draft. I'm applying to insert university course in order to achieve motivation. If you don't know what that motivation is, you must work it out before starting or else you're gonna run into the next tips in our video. Now, my next tip is to be careful of chat GPT-isms. Now, since the uh, advent of AI and chat GPT, we are seeing millions of statements all around the world have the same mistakes. For those of us who read hundreds or thousands of them, it is very obvious when you have over relied on ChatGPT. I'm not saying that it can't be a good source of inspiration and ideas, but be careful to just submit something from ChatGPT. It's going to be very similar to everybody else's and it's going to have these obvious giveaways making you more likely to be rejected. ChatGPT particularly likes overusing and incorrectly using aggressive adjectives. Often I see statements start with a visceral passion for maths. It's just odd, it's distracting, and it gives it away. So please write your own statement using your own words and use ChatGPT for what it is, an inspiration tool and nothing more. A related tip, avoid verbosity. We see people talk about these flowery language instead of specifics. It is the specifics that get you into university and where AI like ChatGPT falls down is it doesn't have those specifics. It doesn't know who you are or what your achievements are. So it's just going to be very, very fluffy and not include the details which will get ticks on the mark scheme to help you to get in. Now, moving away from writing, my next tip is to speak to your referee. Your reference will get read before your personal statement and I would argue that your reference is more important than your personal statement because it's somebody else saying how good you are. If your referee obviously doesn't know you or doesn't talk about any specifics, it's going to really hurt your chances. So make sure you identify who your referee is at school. Speak to your teachers as well and let them know your strengths, your passions and what you've done to prepare for university to make sure that that reference is going to be glowing. A really important tip is to demonstrate, not state. Lots of people will say, I have a passion for graphs and economics, but that is meaningless without the specifics. To demonstrate is to back it up with a specific. Let's try this. Having read about the Connaught solution to game theory, I'm intrigued about the modern world applications to things such as nuclear de-escalation during the Cold War. I look forward to studying more such problems and how economics can solve these world challenges at university. That specific really elevates your statement and you want to be reading around and identifying some niches that you can talk about throughout your statement. And lastly, the biggest mistake I see is to not dedicate enough of your statement to academic demonstration. At least 70% of that limited character count, just 4,000 characters in the UK, including spaces, should be dedicated to academic knowledge. 
If you're applying to English or the humanities, talk about English and the humanities. If you're applying to medicine, talk about academic knowledge of medicine and what you have read around the subject and so forth. It is fundamentally an academic statement you are writing, so you want to be getting as many readings as you can to demonstrate what you've done above and beyond your school syllabus. Now that's just a small selection of the most grow-worthy mistakes I see in undergraduate personal statements. Avoid those and give your application a massive boost.